And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie How Bolt. About that? Hey, you like that? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. When Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Discretion was the better part of valor. It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. I thought, what the hell do I have to do? Many would have fled in that place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas now. Now, where was I? Oh, now. You were heading for the barn. Make you bleed! Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Where'd he come from? the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. And 
that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. <laughs> Stepped inside. And uh, last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. My throat's a mite dry, however, and I'm in need of some lubrication.